Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Researchers in WMG at the University of Warwick, in collaboration with Imperial College London, have found a way to enhance hybrid flow batteries and their commercial use. The new approach can store electricity in these batteries for very long durations for about a fifth the price of current technologies, with minimal location restraints and zero emissions. The researchers enhanced three hybrid flow cells using nitrogen-doped graphene exposed to nitrogen plasma in a binder-free electrophoresis technique EPD. Wind and solar power are increasingly popular sources for renewable energy. Unfortunately, intermittency issues keep them from connecting widely to the national grid. One potential solution to this problem involves in the deployment of long-duration battery technology, such as the redox flow battery. Despite its great promise the current costs of this system are a key determining factor to real-world adoption. An affordable grid battery should cost £75 per kWh, according to the U.S. Department of Energy. Lithium-ion batteries, which lead the charge for grid storage, cost about £130 per kWh. Now WMG researchers have found a way of enhancing hybrid flow batteries or regenerative fuel cell RFC technology that could store electricity for very long durations for about one-fifth the cost of current storage technologies, with flexibility in siting and with minimal environmental impact. The technology combines carbon-based electrodes with economically sourced electrolytes, manganese or sulfur, which are abundant chemicals in the planet by means of a simple and yet highly effective electrophoretic deposition of nanocarbon additives nitrogen-doped graphene that enhance the L. The researchers have published their findings in a paper entitled, Hybrid Redox Flow Cells with Enhanced Electrochemical Performance via Binderless and Electrophoretically Deposited Nitrogen-Doped Graphene on Carbon Paper Electrodes in the December 2020 edition of the journal AX Applied Materials. Dr. Baron Chakrabarti, a research fellow in WMG at the University of Warwick and one of the lead authors on the paper said, this EPD technique is not only simple but also improves the efficiencies of three different economical hybrid flow batteries thereby increasing their potential for widespread. Scaled-up technologies may be used to store electricity from wind or solar power, for multiple days to entire seasons, for about £15 to £20 per kilowatt hour. These batteries are also extremely useful for grid-scale load leveling applications as their design is very flexible due to their unique feature of sizing their power independently of their energy. The energy density of a hybrid flow battery, especially the polysulfide, air system S -air, is 500 times higher than pumped hydroelectric storage. It is also so much more compact and can be placed near any renewable generation. Story source, materials provided by University of Warwick. Note, content may be edited for style and length. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.